Watch the Andy Griffith Show on TV Land. Um, that's just a little plug for that show. I love that show. Um, so I figured I'd make them the sponsor of today's episode. I don't. They're not paying me to do that. I just I I I love that that old black and white, good old fashioned stuff. So anyway, that's the that the uh, that has nothing to do with today's episode. I guess I should do some uh, some other theme music for today. Da -da 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 Football helmet, football helmet, medical vlog. All right, it's the Doctor Football Helmet Medical Vlog. Uh, welcome to another episode. Uh, hope you are all doing well. I know I am because I'm wearing a football helmet. Never gets old, baby. Never gets old. Okay, so today um, we don't have a gamel. Uh, we have a tweet. Hmm. Uh, hope it goes better than the last tweet we had. Anyway. So today's tweet comes in from someone called Antoine Walker Fan. Or at the the at symbol Antoine Walker Fan. I don't know if I should include that or not. I'm, I'm still learning uh, the Twitter. So uh, Antoine Walker Fan, who's apparently a fan of someone named Antoine Walker. I'm not sure who that is. Anyway. Um, they have a, a tweet uh, message they sent to me, uh, and uh, I will read it now. It says, Hi, Dr. Helmet. Okay. Hey. As far as greetings go, that's pretty... Yeah, it's not bad. Okay. Hi, Dr. Helmet. I'm a big exercise buff. Hmm. You're into exercising. Okay. And was wondering what you recommend for a fitness regimen. All right, and that's it. I guess uh, tweet, tweets have to be short. So, the one, uh, Antoine Walker fan wants to know what I recommend for a good uh, fitness routine. Um, uh, so fair enough. All right. Uh, as a medical professional, I feel it is my duty to um, address this topic because obviously the field is full of you know recommendations for how to stay fit and stay active and do the best thing for your body. So, here is my recommendation for a good fitness routine that will keep you healthy, wealthy, and wise. When you wake up in the morning, first thing you should do, it's, it's a morning routine. I feel like the morning, by the way, the morning is the best time to get exercise um, in general. The, the evening is more of a time for laying on the couch and um, either watching television or crying. Um, one or the one or the other. Yeah. I, that just got very personal. Let's just let's move on. I'll cut that out. Um, I don't I don't cry while I lay on the couch every night. Anyway, um, so uh, the morning is better. Let's just put it that way. Um, so in the morning. The first thing you should do when you wake up, before you even get out of bed, don't get out of bed yet, until you do this. It, it involves the arms. So, first thing, stick your right arm as you're laying there. Picture, picture me laying in bed. Well, don't picture yourself laying in bed. That will be more helpful. Actually, you don't see yourself. In, picture, picture your ceiling, because that's probably what you see, when you're, unless you're on your side. Then picture whatever is on this, this, or this side, whatever side you lay on, or if you lay on your back, picture that, or if you, okay, if you lay on your stomach, um, you're probably going to want to roll over. So, there's an added step for someone who sleeps on their stomach. I don't think many people do that, though. I know I don't, because I can't, because then the mask pushes up, and it's, it's really uncomfortable. Um, so, if you do, if you're a weirdo that sleeps on your stomach, which probably means you don't wear a football helmet, then shame on you, for one thing. But then, okay, fine. You're going to have to roll over. Um, you should really wear a football Anyway, so, let's just, let's just say, okay, if you're on your side or your other side, let's make it simple. Let's all, everyone laying in bed, let's lay on your back. First thing you should do, that is step one. Make sure you're laying on your back. Simple. Step number two. Now with your arm, your your dominant arm, 
If you're a righty, that means you're right hand. If you're a lefty, that means you're left hand. It's simple. Stick your arm out. It means you're, la you're laying on your back and put it straight out. Um, you may you may feel uncomfortable doing that because it feels like a Nazi salute. It's not. It's not that you're not. It, I, I I in no way endorse Nazis. I don't know how it came to that, but I just want to make that clear right right here right now. Doctor Football Helmet does not endorse or condone acts of Nazis. Uh, you're not heiling Hitler. You're just putting your hand out, straight out. You might think about it as. Um, Reaching towards uh, the heavens, if that makes you feel, you know, better, you could say, I'm reaching towards the heavens. Hmm. Happy. Or if you're, if you're an uh, atheist, then I, I should be inclusive. You could think of it as reaching towards the sky. It's pretty and blue. So, everyone's happy. And no one is thinking about Nazis anymore. That's the key. So, reach your arm out. Your dominant arm. Now, once that's out... You should also, you didn't think I was going to include the other arm, did you? Yes, I am. Reach that arm out as well, straight out in the air. And now that you've got both arms up, you're not going to keep them up. That's the thing. You're going to move them back slowly towards your head. And then you're going to touch your head. But hopefully, here's the point, you're going to reach and you're going to touch. And the next step of the exercise, what is to determine what you feel. Do you feel hair and a scalp? If you don't have hair, do you feel the skin of your scalp or, or just, you know, whatever is, or your nightcap, if you have a nightcap? Do you feel that? Or, do you feel a helmet? And if you don't feel a helmet, you better get a freaking helmet. Get a helmet and put it on your head. That is, and then if you feel a helmet, the exercise is over and you go about the rest of your day. Otherwise, get a freaking helmet on your head. And that's all the exercising you need to do for the day. Everything else is just icing on the cake. Because, and let me uh, put this very bluntly. Helmets keep you fit. Yay! It's a, it's a beautiful thing. Helmets keep you fit because they're protecting your head. And in the uh, process of doing that, they tell your brain uh, that, oh, I'm a protected person. I shouldn't overeat. I, sh I should stay active. And um, it, it really just, it, it's, it's, it's like, um, it's, a, it's a cornerstone of your day. It's, it's, it's a fundamental um, piece. In, uh, only helmet wearers understand this, but it's like a domino. It's like domino effect. It's, it, you put the helmet on your head, and everything else just kind of, you know, it, it, puts everything else in order. Once you have the helmet on your head, your body is automatically in tune with itself and says, I need to stay fit. And it just does so automatically. You don't need to go to the gym, lift weights, or run. <laughs> Those things are for people who are dying and want to stave off death. You're not going to die with a football helmet on. I've said that many times, and it's true. I haven't died yet, and I'm not going to die. Um, simple as that. So, uh, I hope this has cleared uh, things up for you, Antoine Walker fan. Uh, I hope that you feel at peace now, because you have gone out to a local sporting goods shop and purchased the football helmet and put it upon your dome. And... <laughs> Good for you if you have. Please do so. All right. Well, that's uh, that's another. Uh, uh, I believe it's been a very educational experience. I hope you've enjoyed it. And um, keep sending me your uh, inquiries. I, I appreciate them, and they're helping me stay sharp as a medical professional. So it's a good thing. All right. See you later, folks.
Uh, and remember, watch the Andy Griffith Show on um, on TV Land, uh, whatever that is on your cable box. And I'm sure that they air them all throughout the day, so you could probably go turn on your TV now and watch one. It's probably on. So, all right. See you next time.